Hey guys, we're continuing off mission five, Hunter and Hunted. This is part two of two parts for this mission. This part's about another 14 minutes, bringing total walkthrough to like 30 minutes. I do kind of screw up in the end section. I'll tell you exactly what I did wrong so you can fix that. Um, it's not a huge deal. It just adds maybe two or three minutes to my time. So we're sneaking by this exact way. Watch out for the cop in the window as he can see you. Just wait for him to turn around. Once we do that, we're going to uh, shimmy across this ledge. You can go down to street level. Those are a lot more cops, so I don't suggest it. Climb through the window once it's uh, free. And once we climb through the window, we're just going to try to make our way downstairs. Obviously, it's a uh, tactic to make sure to use your radar, which is actually quite useful in helping you uh, avoid enemies. As you can see which direction they're turned and exactly where they are. They did get rid of the map feature in Hitman Absolution, which was stupid beyond belief. I don't get why they did that. Anyways, we're in the kitchen now. This section's a little difficult as the uh, chefs do turn around a lot as they're talking. And there's just so many dots on my radar, I have no idea where to go. So you just want to stay low. Remember, you are in a police officer's uh, outfit, but they will. these guys will also recognize you for some reason. Uh, I'm playing it as if right now I'm in the hitman suit and I get through this section, so keep that in mind. I don't think I use instinct to fool any cops at any point. These guys are going to have a conversation about how unsafe the fireworks are. I went in here and turned on this valve. Not necessary for the method I took. You can do that and cause an explosion, I believe, or a diversion so that you can escape more easily. Um, I end up using instinct at the end, so a cop's uniform is probably useful, if I remember correctly. Again, this valve, not important, although I did it anyways, and the two people who were talking just outside this room have stopped talking, and it works towards a challenge at the top, you can see there. Got one of two. If you find the other valve, it'll get you the other one. Through this hall, uh, they're gone now. We're pretty free to go. We're walking, we're trying to make progress towards that exit you can see on the radar, on the top of the radar right now. Um, you can kind of try to wait it out like I did, although these guys don't really like to move, to be honest. Um, you can try using that bottle as a distraction and try to sneak around back. Or you, if you like, you can try to use instinct and do the point shooting, although there is a lot of them. So I don't necessarily recommend that unless you bought Hitman as uh, intended to play it like... Assassin's Creed, then I do not recommend that. I do not know why she didn't notice me acting suspicious. Maybe it's because she wasn't a cop, but um, you know, it's all good in the hood when you are the hitman. You can actually, uh, I could have set off some fireworks behind me as a distraction. I chose not to. Um, here I used a little bit of instinct to walk by these cops and uh, once I run out of instinct, they actually find me suspicious. I make a break for the door, although I only lose 1,500 points, which not a huge deal. Um, again, this is a walkthrough, not a silent assassin or, you know, thing or whatever you want to call it. Some of the missions I will do on silent assassin. For this section, you just want to pick up the bottle, toss it across um, to distract, and you can walk straight into those doors on the left without having to worry about using any instinct although I did use a little bit just in case as I was still learning a little bit about the game. If you collect a piece of evidence on the table to the left you will fill your instinct bar. This really does help you uh, in the end. I suggest throwing a bottle out of that door although not necessary. Um, just walk through, use that instinct to get to the pick lock and you're gonna wanna start picking the lock if you see anyone looking towards you like I do here, just press B, stop picking, and go back to the pick a few seconds later. And if you are seen again, uh, stop picking, and do it until you can fully pick the lock. You'll have a small cutscene. We'll go to the next part of the mission. We're still on mission five, guys. I kid you not, this is still mission five. So we have three targets in Chinatown. There's literally countless ways to eliminate them all. I'm showing you my preferred ways. This is the easiest ways to do it for sure. I screw up a little bit. It adds a minute of time, but if you listen closely, it's quite easy to do this. 
the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pick up a knife here. Uh, you'll just see me kind of walk slowly, kind of survey the area. Let's see where we are really, really quick. I'm just kind of surveying the area to see where I can get some weapons or where I can uh, locate some kind of uh, unique items to use. You see a little katana-ist place here. Oh, let's find it really quick. And once we find that place, we're going to pick up the small knife. And you'll see the target actually walking near me right now. And right when I'm next to that target, I pick up the small sword. And I accidentally pick up the katana, but no one notices that as any type of weird behavior. But you're going to want to keep that knife uh, right there. <clears throat> And um, once that happens, you'll keep an eye out on the that uh, target, and you'll see kind of where he's walking towards. You want to walk right here. He's going to have a conversation with one of the chefs. There is a checkpoint right there on my screen. I missed it. I suggest you activate it. It is important you do, unless you don't screw up. It's not a big deal, but I suggest you do it. Here we're just going to crouch in the corner and listen to their conversation. Their conversation's about a minute long. I fast forwarded it for you guys so it's, you're going to see it in about 10 seconds. You're going to target your knife onto his head. As soon as he shoots his gun to kill the chef or the uh, food guy, throw the knife into his head. Again, if you don't have the lethal throw achievement by now, you'll get it at this point. Uh, I can also recommend that you trigger the checkpoint right after this section if you want. Um, you'll see me screw up in the next section, which is why I'm suggesting that, even though the next section is actually pretty easy. So now I suggest from where you walked in, you want to go all the way to the back and to the left to locate the second target. Once you're there, you can rig the gasoline station. And then once on your way out, I suggest you trigger the checkpoint. I did it the long way, whatever way you want to call it. I end up triggering the sec the checkpoint I was just at after I do that, then I fail. Once I reload that checkpoint, it didn't save my uh, gasoline trick on the second guy, which is why I failed. So you have one of two options. Once going through this window here, I wouldn't trigger the checkpoint if I triggered the checkpoint right before it. I triggered this checkpoint and then I rigged this gasoline station. If you rig the gasoline station and can manage to kill the, the, the last guy, this guy will blow up sometime in between there, and then you can just exit the mission. If you're able to get here and he is standing and waiting, I suggest you fiber wire him and then hide his body and just escape through this window. No one should see you. I screwed up, so you're gonna see me wander a little bit extra, a little bit more than usual. Um, so now I end up triggering that checkpoint I was at about two minutes ago. Although it should have been already triggered before the last one. And right now you should hopefully have two kills. I go back for that last kill at the end. He is right next to the exit, so it's not a big deal. At the moment, um, here we go, triggering that checkpoint. And now we're going to go to the spot where the last target is going to be. He's going to have a little meeting regarding a gun sale with a cop. And at, right after that meeting, he always heads to the exact same secluded spot. I think he goes to take a piss. Not exactly sure what he does. But it's going to be right in there that meeting and you can go listen in on the meeting if you don't want to listen in on it you can actually wait outside for him and he'll come back out and you'll see exactly where it goes and at that point you can fiber wire him once you fiber wire him I think you can hide him in a trash bin there you go there's the target I fast forwarded for you guys he's gonna go in there and have a gun meeting I fast forwarded that for you guys as well and then after that you follow him out and assassinate him if at this point you had rigged the gasoline station and had not restarted any checkpoints, that target would have died already. And if he was there like while you were trying to rig the gasoline station, you could have fiber wired him. So that last guy you should have killed right now 
you'll see me go back for him it's not a huge deal but ideally right now this is gonna be your last target or you're gonna have that gasoline pump um, sabotaged and you will blow up within the next minute or two while you're going for this last guy so to recap you can get one guy by throwing a knife into his head after he shoots a chef the second guy in the top left corner of the map you can get by either sabotaging the gasoline station or straight up fiber wiring him as he's just chilling and having a cigarette by himself and this last guy I suggest you fiber wire him as he's making a phone call or taking a whiz by himself in a little alley and you can hide his body and once you get those three you can just find any exit you want to take I just got spotted and walked it off like a champ sometimes you gotta get a little bit lucky although if you followed what I said in terms of my commentary you shouldn't have a problem here's where he'll wander after his meeting you don't actually have to go to his meeting for him to go here he will go here sporadically by himself although it does take him a while to cycle through his actions it'll take him like literally five minutes or more to get here bam fiber wire don't worry no one will see you dump him into the dumpster for extra points and uh, right now assuming you sabotaged again assuming you sabotage the gas station and or uh, fiber wire the middle guy at the gas station you can exit the level at any one of the exits that will be marked on your map I'm gonna fast forward and show you exactly where that middle guy is and I'm gonna fiber wire him uh, again to show you guys and uh, we're gonna end the level off so through the magic of a little bit of editing I am at the gas station now which you have seen me before there's two people here now which is a little weird as usually there is one and we have the target at the back of the gas station smoking a cigarette through the ma magic of editing fast forward to when I break through the window you can reactivate that checkpoint um, because I failed out from before and I just fiber wire him straight up I had him in the dumpster just in case I think you get extra points for disposing of bodies you'll get an achievement once all three of them are dead ideally he was dead from way before again he wasn't in my case not a big deal now we're gonna make a break for the exit which climb through that window you take a right and once you take that right you'll see a door in front of you and we're off to the scoring screen I get quite a bit of points I think I get like a hundred and fifty thousand points and uh, a rank of shadow for 150,000 points. Silent Assassin is somewhere over 200 to 300,000. Click on the sub subscribe button. Walkthroughs in the description and on screen, and you can do all that stuff. Like the video.